Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a random spawn point in any game in Unity 5 using a C-sharp script. So I have this set up right here, all it is is just a quick little scene with a terrain, a couple of trees, a bit of grass and a third person controller with a camera attached as we can see. Now this will apply to a first person controller as well and I will show you how to do it at the end of this tutorial. So firstly let's create our C-sharp script. In the asset window right click, create and C sharp script. I'm going to call this random spawn and I'm going to open it up in mono develop. You can use Visual Studio if you have that, it's entirely up to you. So within this script, we're going to need to create uh, three variables. First variable is going to be the player. So let's get rid of the void update, we don't need that. And the little note there, don't need that either. So we need public game object. And I'm going to call this the player semicolon. Next, we have uh, public and float. And this is going to be for our x position. So I'm just going to call it place x semicolon. And the same for the z. So public, float, and place z semicolon. Okay, so um, it's worth noting at this point, in this tutorial, I'm going to use whole numbers to generate a random spawn point. Even though I've put it as float here, which is a decimal, it's always putting, uh, best to put it as a decimal just in case, because as we can see, our current position is, in this case, 17.9925. In here, it's 20.652. So you'll always have a decimal number, or chances are most likely have a decimal number. So... Let's start. Firstly, we need to randomize the x position. So place x equals random dot range and then open bracket. And now we need to find our minimum and maximum numbers. So let's drag our player over to, let's say, this position. Let's say we want him to appear anywhere around this area here. So we want, let's say, from 25 on the X and the minimum would be let's say minus 24 so minus 24 is the minimum comma now we need the maximum which we said was 25 now it's worth noting here that whatever you put as the maximum number will not ever generate in the random dot range even though it says in this little note here it's inclusive it's just one of them little quirks, it isn't inclusive. So you always have to put one above whatever you want your maximum to be. So we said 25, so we need to put 26. Close bracket, semicolon, and then repeat the same for the Z. So place Z equals random dot range. Open bracket, and now let's find what that is gonna be. So currently we're on 28, let's say. Uh, minimum is going to be, let's say, minus 1. So, minus 1, comma, and we said 28, so let's have 29. Close bracket, semicolon. And now we need to allow the player to generate in this particular range that we have generated. So to do that, we do the player dot transform dot position. Oops, it's auto filled there. Dot position equals new vector three. Open brackets, and then we need place x, comma. Now we need our y value, which in this case is going to be zero because this whole terrain here is flat. So it's going to be zero no matter what. So you would have to put whatever you need to put in this y. If you want to randomize it, you could pretty much do the same here. So you would create another variable and have x, y, and z, and then you just random range it again. But because I'm not doing that, I'm just having my height remain the same, I just have zero. And then place z, close bracket, semicolon, and save. Head back to Unity. Next thing you'll need to do is create an empty game object. So game object, create empty, drag and drop your script onto that object, and then we just need to assign the player to the variable just there drag and drop and there we go when we press play now we should generate in well any position so we have this position which is currently minus 15 by 26 so if we stop and play again we should be in a completely different area 
So there we go, 2118. So let's do that again. Yep, so as you can see, every time we press play, we're in a different section. Now, you may generate the same section twice, but the odds of that happening are all dependent on your values here. So in this case, we have a, a range of about 50 by a range of about uh, 30. So if you multiply 30 by 50, which is, um, oh gosh, what's that? 500, 1,500. So um, you would have an average of generating the same place once in every 1,500 tries. So as I said, this can be done with a first person controller. So let's get rid of our third person controller and I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. So I'm just going to use uh, the standard prefab for first person controller and drag it upwards because it needs to be above the ground here. So I've got it one there. So we just need to make sure that that y, uh, sorry, that y value is going to be the same here. So we need to change that zero to a one, resave the script. And you've probably guessed it by now. We just need to click on our game object and replace the player with a first person controller. I'm just going to turn around 180 degrees so we face this way towards the trees and press play you see we've generated right in front of the rock and let's play a game and we've generated there one more time there we go so as you can see we're generating in a different spot each and every time so that is how you can create a random spawn point in any game in unity 5 guys thank you for watching